Welcome to the What is High Vault Galvanic General Tutorial. It's over here under General Tutorials and also under the Payer Tutorials. We're going to go over to Start at the home page to show you the Galvanic device. Now it would be helpful, obviously, if this is the device that you've received, if you're an injured worker injured person, you're going to take the tutorials on the Impulse HVG general overview and the different modes. If you're a clinical person, physician or therapist, you can take the adjustable modes for clinical use. This is going to be kind of a general, what is Galvanic? So we're going to go over to start with on the documentation page. Now, if you come down here to our general electrotherapy information and click on the electrotherapy document, which you can Obviously, you can always pause these tutorials and take your time to read something. I want to state this again. This information is not to be taken as medical advice in any manner. It's presented as general information. We make no claims to the accuracy. All information is on a best efforts basis for accuracy. Consult your health care professional regarding any contraindications associated with electrical stimulation or any other medical equipment before use. Now, this document is going to cover TENS, muscle stem, interferential. It's just good to be knowledgeable about these. But we're just going to go down to high volt pulse galvanic. High volt galvanic stimulation is recognized by many different names, including high volt pulse galvanic, high voltage stimulation, and direct current stimulation. It's been used over going on 50, 60 years, but it's becoming more popular because it's non invasive, it's non ha habit forming, it's very easy to use and very effective in many applications. But basically, it's the use of high voltage, high driving voltage to produce analgesia, muscle contractions, and to facilitate wound and soft tissue healing. It can best be described as direct, constant, bipolar, unidirectional current of high voltage and low amperage. It is the basic and also the first known form of electrical current flow. And again, I'm not an electrical engineer or anything, and I'm sure you can verify all this information through Google searches. But it's been around a long time and it uses micro amperage it allows for deeper penetration and it doesn't burn it flows between each treatment electrode and the dispersive electrode usually placed on a large muscle group which we'll cover in a little bit it can be used in water it has the ability to move fluids and has been used for open wounds burns and over scar tissue now I, I personally deal with workers comp injuries but from time to time we get an order for a galvanic from some from someone a physician or a clinician or therapist or wound care specialists because they have skin grafts that, that they need to really promote blood flow and circulation to and it's just amazing that it's a demon reduction and ability to move fluids and increase blood flow in a direction so you can read that now this is how it's been explained to me the human body may be considered from the viewpoint of electrotherapy as a bag of skin holding a solution of common salt when the molecules of salt dissolve in water, they disassociate into sodium ions bearing a positive charge and chlorine ions bearing a negative charge. The flow of direct current through the salt solution causes these ions to move in a definite direction with the sodium ions migrating toward the negative pole and the chlorine ions moving toward the positive pole. Now, I, do, I talked to the national sales manager of Sterling Medical Technologies, the manufacturer of our device, the Impulse HDGV. Let's we'll go back over here for a minute. And the way, again, this is not, this is a theory, I guess, but it's been around for so long and it's been so effective, it's pretty much accepted. Is if you have a swelling in fluid, has like a certain type of charge to it. I guess it has a, a certain type of charge. So if you put current into that area that's already kind of got a charge, if it's the same, I guess if it's the same, it pushes they repel each other like the negative and the positive will come to each other but the positive and positive push you push away from each other so the way it's been explained to me is by putting a similar charge into the area it's gonna push that fluid away in the direction it's gonna wanna go which might even be up the leg from the knee up the leg to the ground or at the time oppositely charged area to get fluid movement going out of an injured area, an area with swelling, and toward the ground or the oppositely charged area. Even goes up the leg against gravity. And I can give you a real life example. We've, we've fit hundreds and hundreds of patients with galvanic, but I'm going to give you a real life example. 
okay and while I'm doing that I'm gonna take you over to 10 supplies details and this is where Galvanic is different okay I got an order from a nurse case manager I marketed to nurse case managers nurse case managers will call me from time to time and I don't claim to be a doctor physician therapist anything like that but if you fit over two three thousand patients you have some clue and you've seen I've seen about every possible thing you can ever see just uh, amazing bizarre work comp injuries so there's a young man in his early 20s driving a delivery truck a glass pane truck and he was driving and even hired and they didn't even check his license I mean he just um, suspended license when he gets in a wreck I don't know whose fault it was but these glass panes go flying everywhere and he had a major head trauma his mother said his head swelled up like just the size of a watermelon one leg below the knee gets severed the other leg almost got severed and or maybe and, and, and they could save the one leg but they couldn't save the other leg so he has a stump and he he gets fit for a prosthetic but the problem is or the problem that was occurring was he, he was in pain but the real problem was chronic edema in the stump it just kept swelling up and it's very hot in Phoenix and so when his stump would swell up he couldn't fit it in the prosthetic leg trying to you know squeeze it in there was uncomfortable and it was always swelling at some degree of swelling so the nurse asked me is there any device that you know and I said well I believe galvanic we can try galvanic it's known and it's claim to fame even though it's just wonderful for a lot of things it's claim to fame is moving swelling out of an area aggressively and fast and easy to use can run all day long on a 9 volt battery and you can use it while he's walking around in his prosthetic leg so we put two active treatment electrodes on a stump and then we use the ground oppositely charged on the dispersive ground electrode so these are the two wires that we put a just a, a two inch square electrode on one side of his stump the other one two inch square on the other side of his stump and this ground on the ground electrodes so I'm gonna go over and show you what those are so if you're gonna look at a two inch square electrode one of those the two red active treatment electrode lead wires were connected to two of these one red wire pin into a pigtail this was one on one side of the stump this was on the other side whatever side of the knee each side of the knee on a fleshy area that went into the stump so this is the active treatment current then you go over here to the dispersive or ground and you'll notice and if you take the tutorials you'll, get, you'll learn this more are the four by sevens or three by fives where you could split the, the black tip into two and get a lot more coverage and you have to have more area in the ground and then it goes on a large muscle some people think it goes on the same side of the body some people say it goes on the other side of the body the clinician that's gonna prescribe this is gonna be knowledgeable and they're gonna let the, the injured worker know where they want the pads both the active and the and the ground electrodes so this went to the, the, to the black tip lead wire and this all was oppositely charged to the treatment so what happened was the lead wires treated and it saturated the stump with it, the pre-programmed polarity for the active leads active treatment electrodes in the polarity to reduce edema and then the ground was the opposite and so it caused all the fluid to migrate from the stump up the leg to try to get out of the leg and it worked tremendously and everybody was amazed and shocked I used to market galvanic a lot but it's really a lot of work personally you have to go I mean I would I would work with orthopods that wanted to reduce and eliminate swelling from the get-go of knee surgery so we would go into the recovery room and then the, the physician the surgeon would put the lead wire the electrodes you can be you don't have to be, you can be pretty far below and pretty far above the surgically repaired knee and then we'd go in and turn it into it we'd go into the recovery room and set them up on the post-op mode and if you take the tutorials on the post-op mode you'll see that this device turns on and off and on and off for 48 hours it's like electronic guys 
So we got tremendous results, but it's a lot of work to go train a patient at their home and then come back and wait till they finally get out of surgery. And sometimes surgeries are moved forward or backwards and things, I mean, if I'm forward. And it's, so we kind of quit marketing it that way because it was just so much time consuming work, but it can be tremendously of value right out of surgery or you just sprain your ankle or you have chronic edema it also helps with pain so I'm gonna do a just this is a slideshow that I use for the specific training on the impulse HVG but I just want to cover a couple things and again federal law restricts this device to sale buyer on the order of a physician please read this pause this screen this training modules for educational purposes only but galvanic stimulation has a wide range of applications relaxation of muscle spasms prevention and retardation of disuse atrophy increasing local blood circulation to an area muscle re-education and nerve re-education I've heard it to, referred to as a poor man's muscle stem um, maintaining or increasing range of motion preventing and reducing edema improving again drawing blood flow into an area especially if they're trying to get skin grafts to take it uses unique style lead wire unique dispersive for ground electrodes negative and positive polarity you can have the two active lead wires be con simultaneously releasing current flow or alternating depending on what your what the clinician or physician is attempting to do if it's alternating and can it can create a kind of an alternating squeezing pumping contraction like a massage to stimulate circulation and blood flow and moving fluid and almost all, whether it's, we, we don't use analog devices, but most galvanics are pre-programmed. And you can have a pre-programmed edema reduction or chronic pain or post-op, or it can be adjustable depending on what a very knowledgeable clinician or physician in electrotherapy wants to do for specific purposes. Um, if you do a pre-programmed mode, post-op, you, you can read the manual, look at that, and it'll explain it but it already is set at the, at the polarities that needs to be in the frequencies. It's been known to act like electronic ice. Now, let's just go back to that example of the, the individual who got in the, the, the truck wreck and got a leg severed. I think it's pretty common that cold therapy devices are used to reduce swelling. Right out of surgery, they take the they fill up the cold therapy device with water and ice and then water circulates through a, a tube into a a moldable cold therapy pad circulates through the pad back into the uh, another tube back into the device and it circulates water and you can kind of control the temperature and but the, the person is like they're, they're not going anywhere because the device has to be plugged into the wall it's kind of hard to walk around with that and just strapping a big bag of ice on your knees it's cold it's not that comfortable and it's hard to move around whereas with galvanic anybody that has a, a prosthetic that has swelling problems it acts like electronic ice without the hassle I mean in this individual's case he had two electrodes on the stump the and I always suggest if you want to kind of keep the wires and take some pantyhose just cut them I guess above the knee and below the the waist some size to fit a person's leg and then they can just put the pantyhose over their leg and that kind of secures the wire to their leg and then it just come, um, goes up you know outside their their garment into the device which then is hidden and secure in the fanny pack and they can get galvanic treatment all day long while they're walking around and helping move fluid you know improve and increase blood circulation and all that move edema out of an area and they're not stuck to a cold therapy device plugged into a wall it also is, helps with pain relief it's very effective at pain relief similar, similar to a TENS some people like it even more and again there are with all devices there's adjustable modes but you need to know what you're doing that's why you have programmable modes simple post-op chronic pain edema reduction otherwise the clinician is going to decide do they want a positive or negative in the active treatment area do they want it to be alternating or simultaneous with the electrodes things like that 
So you can pause this screen too, where Sten's device delivers energy current to the central nervous system attempting to disrupt or block the transmission of paid signals to the brain. Neuromuscular or galvanic devices deliver energy or current deeper into the tissue bed, facilitating a more comprehensive physiological response. Furthermore, the human body is less able to become accommodated to the galvanic device than a TENS. However, modern day digital multifunction, multi-programmable TENS devices can be adjusted in so many different ways that that reduces accommodation too. It's non-invasive. It's been used for wound healing. Again, if you want to read these specifically, just pause the screen. Pain reduction. Different types of pain. Edema reduction. You can't see the edema reduction above this video recorder. Disuse ad-free muscle strengthening. Again, these are general informational uses. The it's got to be prescribed, and the clinician is going to be specific if they're ordering galvanic. And usually any device will show you the error codes. Maybe an electrode came off. Maybe the battery's not working right. Things like that. So I'm going to end this slideshow. So galvanic has great uses. It's very effective. It's, I, personally, from, a, from an electrotherapy company's owner's viewpoint, I believe the reason why you do not see galvanic prescribed that often is because sales reps don't want to bother with it for two reasons their company it, it has the same billing code EL745 as a TENS I mean excuse me as a muscle stem and so the reimbursements not that high and the device usually is more expensive a lot more expensive than, a, than a, just a generic muscle stem or TENS and it's a lot more work I mean, to go fit a, a, a patient in, in, in the recovery room, first of all, the patient's out of it. And anytime I talk to a patient in the recovery room, a day later or two days later, they have no memory of talking to me. So I'd have to go to the patient's home, fit them, train them days before the surgery, then go to the recovery room and wait hours before the surgery finally ended. Sometimes it got canceled and rescheduled, and it just was, it's a lot of work. So I don't believe that galvanic is not prescribed on a large scale because it's not the, one of the most amazing and effective types of electrotherapy. It's because of the reimbursements and the amount of work it takes. But in our program, we just ship and, they, and anybody takes tutorials. So thank you for taking this tutorial and if you have any, if you're a payer contact taking these tutorials, if you have any people, any claimants with severe chronic edema with pain, things like that, you might want to be proactive in Print out one of our medical necessity forms and choose this very affordable $485 program to help your injured worker. Thank you and make it a great day.